Politicians, celebrities, everyday peeps, right? One thing we all have in common after we have kids is that we're all parents. Time to find out what you blog and real voices from the parenting world who have stories you won't hear anyplace else. And today, joined by Ronnie and Lamar Tyler, their blog, Black and Married with Kids. Also here with us, radio host and dad, Ryan Cameron. Okay, guys, we're all parents. So is the leader of the free world, all right? We know Obama's a dad. He's got two girls. Well, apparently, he gave a little inkling recent, recently into how he's nervous about dating. Take a listen. They grow up to be like 5'10", and even if they're still nice to you, they, they basically don't have a lot of time for you during the weekends. They have sleepovers and dates. So, so all that early investment just leads them to go away. Can you imagine the, the boy that comes home with Sasha or Malia and has to meet that dad? Well, that's any dad. I mean, my, my daughter's 14 right now, and uh, she's a cheerleader. And she's, you know, really popular at her school. And I, I learned the hard way, you know, because we grow up and we're, we're holding them in the crib and we're, we're nurturing them. And all of a sudden we're at the mall and she starts walking in front of me. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, just walk behind me. She doesn't want to be, she doesn't want to be seen with her dad. I'm like, we used to be holding hands. And now you're like saying, you know, just stay back there. I mean, I feel sorry for whoever that is that knocks on that door. I, I feel sorry for that person. And I feel sorry for Malia. I mean, I want her to be able to have private moments. And my first kiss was horrible. I ran. It was wrong. Sure, hope it wasn't well, Lamar. Well, right. oh. no, I, I was good when, oh, okay. I, when I came. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But but it was a it was, it was horrible. Uh -oh. and, um, and I I was it was awkward and just to think that Secret Service might be watching. Well, let me ask you, Paparazzi. Yeah. That's, that's what I love that's about it. I mean, I think that's every dad's dream. He doesn't even have to be the bad guy. He has people that are right. highly trained experts, and he can just give them instructions. No touching, no PDA, no hand holding. See my nothing. sniper over there yeah, exactly. on the left exactly. wing? Yeah, yeah. He's going to no. take you out. Exactly. She needs to be, ha to be able to have special moments so in private. Has the moment happened for you? Do you think about that moment of when that first boy walks in the door? What do you say to him? I've thought about it. Our oldest daughter is 10 years old. Um, so right now I told her just focus on getting her MBA. And then once she has an MBA, <laughs> right, talk about it. You know. <laughs> and my daughter at 14, you know, she went to a Sadie Hawkins dance. And it was a big, big deal. And, you know, it's, I said, well, what are you going to do? She said, well, I don't know what to do. I said, great. Don't do anything. Just don't dance. Don't even go. You know what? Daddy will take you to I do a father-daughter <laughs> dance every Father's Day. It's more important to dance with your father than some guy from right, school. Right. You're going to have to move on, pal. All right. Like the next topic, singer and reality TV star Tony Brack and pays her two boys an allowance, like many parents do, but she also charges them rent, getting them prepared for responsibilities down the road, like paying their bills, she says. All right, what do you guys think? Like, how young should that start? I mean, I remember elementary school earning my allowance and learning how to save. Well, I do that already. When we go out Christmas shopping, the kids have to use their money, and I match it. So they don't go in and just buy some expensive thing and then put it on the counter and then give Daddy, you know, you got the money. So they want to buy something that costs $50, they have to have $50. I mean, I'm right. teaching them right, and they pay for it. They get the receipt. They put it in the bag because I, I want them to understand can that. Can I tell you, though, how many parents give their kids credit cards? They pay for everything, and they use the excuse, well, if they're doing great in school and they're being well-behaved, I'll take care of everything. But it doesn't More. teach them how to survive on their own. And, and um, our, our son, he, he was a freshman in college last year, and money management was re very tough for him. And so I wish I had done more when he was younger. I that. love what Tony Braxton's doing. I salute her. Um, we do a lot of the same things Ryan does, but starting this weekend, when they get allowance, we'll implement this $20 per person. No, they're not paying rent. <laughs> $20 oh, per person per head. I'm going to jump in on this one. All right, this topic actually comes from Ronnie and Lamar's blog. Ronnie, you wrote about this. Basically, good kids don't necessarily mean good parents same as bad kids don't always mean that you're a bad parent so tell me what you're getting at here oh because I wrote a post you know 12 things to do to keep your kids from acting a fool in public <laughs> <laughs> you know and so I got parents coming back well if you parent your kids you won't have a problem and that's just not the case so all not the true time. Definitely, definitely. you know you can do everything right and your kid will still misbehave whenever whenever I see those types of judgments I think they come from two people 
people that don't have children and people that only have one child who's a good child, so right. they don't know what it's really they like. They don't know the difference. They, have kids. they don't have the spectrum. And sometimes if you pop up on your child at school, you know, they're, they're a perfect <laughs> angel. Exactly. And then you walk in the classroom, you're like, wait. Are you my child? <laughs> because they will be acting out. Yeah, it's true. They at sometimes they're so well behaved in other people's homes, and they talk about how wonderful your kid is. Then they get home to you, right? And they're going, they're just going mouthing crazy. off. Like, yeah, they're going nuts. So, Go so ahead. I just tell people don't be so judgmental. And you're one kid away from from having a challenging kid. Just have one more baby, and you you might see that. Hey, I got twins. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> you know, they go back and forth. Angel, devil, angel, devil, right. angel, devil.